Hi there. Uh, again, yeah, back. We will be looking at another figure package. This being it's kind of semi worn, uh, and kind of the older, uh, old school, um, uh, Marvel Legends figure being the War Machine James Rhodes, uh, figure stone package. This was like one of the very, yeah, I think the earlier versions that came out might be even like the first or something. Um, as far as the replication of the, uh, the MCU versions. So let's just take a look at it. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit worn. Yeah, I haven't really kept it in the best condition, but the, um, it is still in package still. This, there, this is like a kind of a central version one. There's like another version that's actually kind of like, might be better. It's kind of more like thicker. Yeah, the armor is like more kind of more features to it. It's got like more kind of uh like god air kind of looking it's kind of better but i kind of perfectly kind of, i don't mind this one so much though uh it's kind of slimmer yeah kind of slimmer more straightforward yeah very much in the likeness of like how it was in in the movies yeah the whole mcu movies so uh okay basically this is what we, what's included is again a baf line figure uh it includes the hulk buster uh helmets right there other accessory will be um uh James Rhodes um uh, head uh with uh, the face flap opening in the likeness you see of Don Cheadle. Um yeah, um uh, pretty well detailed. Uh you can put that swap that head onto the actual figure, uh take the war machine's head off. Um as you can see. Let's look at his war machine skull uh head. Yeah, pretty well detailed. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, there is an effervescent type of red glow highlight to the eyes. Yeah, as far as the uh, start technologies aspects. Here is the power source, power core, the chest. Um, in the whole thorax area, see, is just the full fledged likeness of the movie version. Um, model it says FF445 right there. Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes, yes, engraved right on the armor. An aspect of the military slash uh, shield division. Um, so you can see there's insignia. It looks like yeah, some kind of yeah, the lieutenant uh, military insignia, or that might be uh, as far as yeah, Captain America. Um, yeah, right there. Stars for the United States. The uh yeah this yeah you can see the coloration uh yeah, silver black uh nice metallic sheen to it this is not again as i said there's another version that's kind of bulkier more better detailed but yeah it's kind of more of a slimmer version this stands six inches tall um and it's pretty good for what it is yeah but it does include uh yeah his I'm not sure not a repulsor gun, but yeah, the machine gun that that's mounted on the back given to his uh, flight ability. Uh there is it's ball jointed, uh there is rotation, articulation of the shoulders, looks to be bald as underneath the armor, uh shoulder pads, flaps area. Looks yeah, it is articulated, can move around. You can see the gauntlets are pretty detailed for the size of the figure. Uh, this one, where it can shoot uh, those type of, uh, I don't know what you call those, those like those smaller type of LRB type missiles. Yeah, there's like repulsor, you know, some kind of variations of repulsor beams and uh, different type of cutting lasers, as you know of. The yeah, hands uh, are articulated ballpoint joints. Um, Probably full fledged rotation and definitely pivot, yeah, fixed into a fist position. And you go to the torso, yeah, articulation in the um, mid portion, you can probably bend them to the extent forward, probably about maybe 35 degrees or something like that. But yeah, there's a bend to it. You can look, tilt back, looking back like that, and then look forward like that. So. Uh, ball points on the legs, hip joints, rotation, um, and swivel. 
probably can kick it, yeah, kick forward, kick back to a limited degree, and then kick sideways like a tummy jack, something like that. So that is what his legs can do. Uh, there is articulation of the knee caps. You can better put the figure on one knee in different poses. And you look at the feet. Booted, armored, um, cased in armor. There should be ball points. Yes, yeah, ball pointed with a uh, hinge. Probably not too much movement, but yeah. Stand him up. If you take him out of the package, just stand him just up right like that. But I still have to take him out of the package. So. We'll look, here is the side of the figure. Uh, pretty cool illustration of War Machine all in a uh, incandescent metallic black and white scheme. Very kind of grim, you know, kind of the aspect of like, kind of like the military kind of side thing of like Marvel. And then the same uh, uh, illustration on the other side. Yeah, there's like another one called the Iron Punisher. There's like another one. I believe there's like a few Marvel comics, even like a few Avengers assembly level so three teams of a Punisher or something like that. So yeah, and then the back of the package. Uh this is yeah, the Age of Ultron version actually. Yes, his full fledged replication of it. Um the bio Marvel War Machine. With elite military precision, Colonel James Rhodes unleashes a torrent of explosive devastation as War Machine. Do you remember how mobile and how much, like, you know, flight capability he had in that movie? That was pretty dope. You know, that was pretty cool. Um, pretty cool pose. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Yeah, one fist up with his uh, whole sort of mounted gun on the back right there. Pretty straightforward, pretty cool looking. And here's what's included in the, as far as for the BAF, BAF aspects, we get the Hulk Busters. Uh, you can assemble, if you collect all of these, you get you can make a Hulk, Hulk Buster figure. This is probably within like a 7 inch scale, it's really not too big, yeah, but um, you have to collect uh, Marvel Now Iron Man, gold and black Iron Man, and then there's yeah, the War Machine, uh, Marvel's Blizzard, Marvel's, I guess, Doctor Strange, and I think that's Doctor Strange, and then, uh, Vision, uh, I'm not sure if that is, and then this looks like to be Scarlet Witch right here, one of the versions, or maybe, yeah, so, um, collect all those, and you can build a Hulkbuster, okay, not recommend for ages zero to three. Um, different languages. Uh, yes, 2015, main 2015 half hospital year of Age of Ultron film. And uh, again, the back portion, upper right here, upper uh, portion it says Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron, and then it's a Marvel Legends Infinite Series figure with. The BAF edition accessory, which would be the Hulk Busters helmet. Turn to the front, here it is. It's a little beat up. Um, probably not gonna care by now, but you know, just check it out if you want to see all the package. You know, everybody's already uh, reviewed it already. So, yeah, here it is. But again, looking at the front, this is a pretty cool aspect. Yeah, the neon red um, kind of power core aspect of the chest. Yeah, which it looks pretty cool. Here it is. Uh, the Marvel Legends event series, Marvel's War Machine, James Rhodes. You can still get it.